Show. Where would we all be without inventions? Dilly Dale takes that question quite seriously. Each year, the Mr. Men and Little Misses set aside some time to invent new machines and gadgets to help make our world a better place. And every year, Dilly Dale celebrates their accomplishments, coming together to give a hearty hurrah. Or lend an ice pack or two. Good, Good morning, morning, Dilly Dale! Good morning, Dilly Dale! Ha <laughs> I'm Mr. Happy! And I'm Miss Sunshine! And today we're celebrating inventions! <laughs> Think how different the world would be if someone hadn't invented the car or the light bulb. Oh, those little things you stick in the end of your corn cob. You said it, Miss Sunshine. Now let's meet our first guest. Welcome to the show, Miss Daredevil. Thanks for having me. So this is your invention? Certainly is. I call it the rocket. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. So what does it do? It can do just about anything. Ah, <gasps> Can it lay an egg? Anything but that. Oh, well, let's pick a lucky person from the audience to help demonstrate. Great idea, Miss Sunshine. How about you, Mr. Quiet? Come on up and try it out. Let's give Mr. Quiet a big round of applause. Oh, oh no. The rocket is an all-in-one oh, entertainment centre. It's not oh. just a chair. Oh. It's a movie oh. theatre. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. And, of course, can't forget the popcorn and fizzy pop. Oh, ow, oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Wow, that is some chair. Are you with me, folks? But wait, you haven't seen the best part. Watching a movie is fun, but imagine if you could do it in space. You're not saying. That's right. It's not just a chair. It's a rocket ship. Rocket ship. Right, you stand back. Prepare to be dazzled. Whoa ho ho ho! I've said it before and I will say it again. Ho 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 ho! That is some chair! How long can the rocket stay in space, Miss Daredevil? No idea. I haven't worked out all the details. Like how it's supposed to come back to Earth. <laughs> What do you know? It came back. It can do so much, yet it can't lay an egg. So, Mr. Quiet, was it as exciting as it looked? Yeah. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Good, Good Morning, morning Dilly Dale. Dale. Go, Mr. Lazy, the helpful do everything you want without ever leaving the sofa remote control. Wow, you invented this, Miss Helpful? Yes, I did, and it's my gift to you. I'll treasure it always from the comfort of my sofa. Hmm, must need another adjustment. There, should work now. 
Bye! Let's see. Vacuum. Mm, nothing. You're my kind of vacuum. Um... Uh, oh, 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 what's going on? Oh, you get away from me! Help me! Oh, get back! Maybe it'll turn on the tap. What's that sound? Oh, kitchen underwater! Wouldn't mind a little music. This is crazy! Toilets, toasters, cake mixer. <gasps> My this is too much. That's a Batteries must be dead. Hmm. Guess that means I have to get up and get new ones. Or not. Like it was time to put my inventing skills to good use. Of course, lots of really great things have already been invented, like marshmallows and stretchy socks and bags for your bowling balls. But then I had an idea for something that would be really, really great. And here it is, the politophone. I hate it already. What does it do? Well, you just talk into this part right here, say anything you'd normally say, then your voice will come out on the other side. Only there'll be nice words instead of the ones you usually use. I'll give you nice words. <laughs> Mr. Rude! That's exactly what I'm talking about. You need to learn to be more polite, otherwise your friends are going to stop inviting you places. It's for your own good. Fine, Miss Chatterbox, I will use it. Just go. You are giving me a headache. An hour of my invention and you'll be a changed man. Hopefully not too changed. I like me just the way I am. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Rowe. What else do you have in your lunchbox? Uh... Get your grubby, nosy paws out of there. Help yourself to anything you wish, Mr. Nuzzy. Oh, don't mind if I do. That was scrumptious, Mr. Rude. We'll have to do it again sometime. Hiya, Mr. Rude. Don't mind me. I'm just looking for a turkey sandwich I left here last week. Would you mind keeping your filthy junk to yourself? May I help you find something, Mr. Messy? That'd be great. Here, hold this. Found it. See you later, mate. So, how's my invention working out? I have never hated anything so much in my life. Thank you for allowing me to use this marvelous invention. It has changed my life. <laughs> what did I tell you? You're a real gentleman now. Well, I guess you won't be needing this anymore. Don't thank me. Consider it my good deed of the day. I, I like thought she would never day. leave. <clears throat> oh. And we're back. Mr. Scatterbrain was just showing us his latest invention. The Remember Box. I was? Hmm. Well, where is it? It's on your lap. At least, I think that's it. Or else I'm on the wrong show. No, you're right, Miss Sunshine. So, Mr. Scatterbrain, tell us about this wonderful invention. <laughs> well, you see, I forget stuff. So, I invented this box to help me remember everything I'm going to forget later. <laughs> I'll show you. This bunny rabbit is to remind me to buy carrots. For the rabbit. No, for carrot sandwiches. And this little guy is to remind you to buy bananas. No. To remind me to bring this pygmy goat back to the zoo. Do you have anything else in there? Oh, just this crocodile. Ah! 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 Oh, look! 
Look, carrots! <laughs> I must have remembered to get them after all. Do you have crocodile repellent in there? No, just the goat. They're not very friendly, Edna. Well, that's just about all the time we have for Invention Day. We'll see you again on Good, Good Morning, Morning Dillydale! With so many marvellous inventions, it's amazing to think there's anything left to invent. Why household appliances alone make the lives of everyone easier. There's always a new invention right behind the last one for those daring enough to use it. 